I had been asked to do a series for somebody else. And I loved Barney. I was in love with Barney. We weren't married yet, but I was in love with him. And he said he didn't want to work with me. He thinks it, it was a lethal, it's a lethal combination. You can't have a personal relationship and do a series together. I said, well, I, I could. I'd behave myself. He said, I have a tall picture of you coming home, crawling into bed with me, and I tell you how fat you looked in dailies today. He said, that'll get you hot, won't it? So I told him, I said, I've been approached, and the series, they want to do a series with me, somebody else. And he said, that makes me sick. I can't, I can't, I have to. I can't let someone else do it. So that's how Rosie O'Neill was born. He devised that series for me so they wouldn't go do it with somebody else. I did everything in the world I could to make her different. But she wasn't as interesting, you know? Um, she was a, a, she was a, a liberal, Rosie O'Neill. Um, she was an, a, a, a public defender. The, the thing that Cagney hated. She hated public defenders. Um, she was married, or divorced now. You met Rosie when she was divorced. Um, she was just the polar, op the polar opposite of Cagney. Um, some people come up to me and say they, they, they love that show more than Cagney. But it was timely for women of that certain age whose husbands were leaving them, and that's what happened to her. I'm, I had the idea of starting her out, um, of starting her out uh, in therapy. I said, if you can't, if I can't deal with what's going on with her in the show, then I want to start it out by talking about what it's like to have been left by this man, and that she's changed her life, and that she's now a public defender. She had her own law firm, fancy, fancy. Um, so that way it wasn't as successful, but there are people who say they love that character more. But I think, I'm sure it was people who were going through what she was going through. You know, everyone likes to see themselves, I think.